Hi, Tony Selzer here. Welcome to the line. We got Jordan Skoll with a really cool tech startup right out of uh, Boomtown um, doing some amazing things. Benchmark, right, is, is really taking big data analysis and, and, and really understanding how to build a dashboard, but doing it in a very different way, in a very unique use case, focused on restaurants, helping them understand all these data points that they're using to manage their business and giving them information on, on where they should put their restaurants and how their restaurants are run, right? Uh, that's right, yeah. So we're primarily focused early on in the early stages on, on the established restaurants. Okay. And then later down the road, we'll start to think about site selection given the information that we've collected over the first year or so of, oper of our operation. And, and you're really optimizing some of these new data points that are now available on, on how the restaurant's doing, and social is that are those data points, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we really believe that customer customer feedback, what used to take place in the in sort of a black box for, mm -hmm. for restaurant operators mm -hmm. is now taking place out in the open for all to see. So this this what used to be an indicator of operations mm -hmm. is now also this sort of back and forth loop between it, it, if your reviews and your ratings go up then that improves the store's performance everything mm -hmm. is taking place out in the open and before they might have a, uh, they might understand that the service is bad but mm -hmm. but now it just has a it, the the effect that it has on revenue at an individual unit can be much quicker than it used to be T even 10 years ago and tying all that together and giving somebody the insight to get past all the kind of excuses that could be made for management or the location or what is it doing. It could be the season, it could be traffic, it could be somebody's doing construction on a major e exit. Separating those things and really seeing those in a visual form can allow the, the operators to really make better decisions earlier in the game. Because sales is a lagging indicator, right? I mean, sales is the last thing to know when something is wrong. Yes, exactly, and right now, well, based on our customer development conversations that we've had with our customers, mm -hmm. what we've realized is that that's typically how how our how restaurant chain back offices are measuring the performance of their stores is they're mm -hmm. looking at the financial information. Mm -hmm. They're looking at that uh, at revenue numbers sometimes as frequently as per day, but you're right that is a trailing indicator. So how can you understand what is affecting that revenue mm -hmm. and how can you understand why a certain location is making more money than others and I kind of shocked you a little bit of, of some of my understanding of this because I what I started cut my teeth in business in restaurants and you know we were looking at labor numbers by the minute because you had to make your labor number I mean that was a big we looked at food costs every day right which are the two big drivers in this space right but but one of the most powerful things that one of my, the the obsession I got with big data was understanding how little things make such a big impact right and I was I was talking about same store sales cap where, where the the employees were using the discount in the restaurant and that was a leading indicator for future rev, or future revenue right it actually showed us what the culture how alive the culture was for the organization yeah and and that's really sentiment and pulling some of those things together to understand the relationship between all those data points that's what you guys do isn't it yeah absolutely so we've actually been really shocked to find we ha we've been working with uh, uh actually he's at he runs a retail mm -hmm. uh several retail units um in a mall okay and what we found is that he was driving seven miles to get uh chain mexican food for his family seven miles i said oh, okay that's not that big of a deal and he said wait you don't understand there's one of those units within a mile of my house. Oh. And so he was driving past that because he felt that that unit wasn't clean enough. Mm -hmm. So when we put the all of those units into the, into benchmark intelligence to understand what the platform would suggest to executives, lo and behold, cleanliness was a factor and we were able to identify that. And, and so what you could do as a manager, as, a, as really a, as somebody that's running a region or running a chain, is you can pinpoint and give the insight to the the guy who's on the front lines on how to make his store better today. And that's a very different world that we're about to live in because of what you guys are doing. Yeah, I mean, we found it really interesting that that early on with these young chains, when there's just a several un when they're just several units, the restaurant tour, they knew what was taking place in their stores. Mm -hmm. They understood that okay, if there's a service issue or or maybe there's a, a particular um, wait staff person mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. not not performing 
up to par right because they were in the stores but as those units started to scale yep. there's a tipping point where they lose that intimate relationship they had with the brand that they started mm -hmm. and we're trying to provide that back to them to let them understand so that they don't have to travel to every store but they they truly understand what is taking place inside each one of those units really what you guys have done is is build a a way to benchmark, no pun intended, in uh, under the puns intended. <laughs> right, the the, um, the 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 ecosystem that's at bay there. I mean, you've got management, you've got you've got the store uh, uh, efficacy and cleanliness. You've got you've got the market and the feedback that they're given, and really all that is a lot of data. And you guys are bringing insight and clarity to that. Yeah, and it's not it's not something that's standardized. So so you're absolutely right. New York might not perform as well as Toledo. But what we want to understand is if Toledo is performing up to its maximum, if it's completely optimized given that hyper-local market mm -hmm. and the location where that, that site has already been selected. Same deal goes for, for the New York store. So maybe the New York store is completely outperforming everyone else in revenue. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's making as much money as it possibly should. Yeah, get, the, get as much of the total percentage as you possibly can, right? Know the benchmark create the common denominator. That's what you guys are doing. Exactly. Thanks so much for being on the show, brother. Yeah.